Well, we were on the road towards um, the town that we're in. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. Arwillstead. Thank you. And then we came across a not very literate orc fighting off some devils or fiends of some kind. Recovered their town hero's body. And we now we're under did. suspicion for some reason. Yeah, there's the the orcish lady, uh, Vigazi, that was fighting the devils slash demons. That we found a letter that said that she was following the group for something. Indeed she had. She had proudly said, yes, that was me, when the thing mentioned that they were being followed by a relatively benign follower. Right. Uh, we got into town, caused the panic as we basically hauled their leader through the middle of the streets without thinking to cover the body. Yep. Uh, talk to the mayor. I uh, don't remember his name exactly, but uh, it, it was discussed about uh, scouts gone missing, and the the leader that we found dead had gone out to to look for them or something like that. Uh, yeah. Basically, he was checking in on some um, scouts that had not come back. Basically. Watches, whatever. Guards, patrols, however you want to call them. Right. Uh, and ultimately, I think we ended up at the inn, um, Badger Inn or something like that. Yes, you were shepherded off to the blissful Badger and asked not to leave town. Um, well, no one seems to be treating you with open hostility. It seems as though it's more of a formality than anything else. When you do come in with prominent dead bodies, you generally have to stick around to answer some questions. Watcher. Did we ever find a medic for, uh, Bugazi? Um, I mean, technically you guys are told exactly where to find a medic. Vigazi just keeps saying she's fine. Ah. While she bleeds. Yeah, she's still dripping. Stubbornly, so. So we either sleep it off or we drag her regardless to a medic. I, imagine, choice. I imagine walking into the middle of the inn with a bleeding orc behind us in this particular town might not go unnoticed, so thinking we should probably bring her to the infirmary. Sounds good. Um, if you guys actually physically escort her there? I don't think we should leave her alone, that's for sure. Alright, if that's the case, then she will go, if nothing else, to tag along with you guys. Where she's she's healed up. Any wounds that you guys have are patched up as well. I don't think any of us got hit. I don't think so either. But just in case you go to the boo boo is better. Oh, boo boos, boo boos got better. All right, so we return most of this hero's gear. Did they give us anything in reward for that, or? Why? Just del delete that off if of you, me. If you recall, I told you. Let's see here. Oh crap! Where is it? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
Sorry, I'm just looking for it. I did not. Did not bookmark it. directing me to an unrelated page. What the hell? Oi, Piers. You still want to head over to that dive bar? Just gonna sleep in the badger in with the rest of us. I figured there'd be a lot more to see and hear in a dive bar than there would be in the uh, particularly nicer establishment. People don't get it looser-lipped. Sorts of places, but if you're being uh, insistent, I don't see why I wouldn't stay with you all. I ain't insisting on anything. Wherever this orc is going, we should probably stick with her. I don't know how she's mixed up, but. I feel like she's important. That sounds fairly accurate, considering we found her uh, on the verge of death, saving off devils uh, with her last breath, effectively. It's not often that uh, fate throws that sort of thing in the middle of the road. Ah, okay, yes. Um, if you guys go to the guardhouse, um, you were told that you could probably pick up a reward for the return of their gear. Okay. Um, we should do that then. Uh, remind me, guys, have we been traveling together for a while, or is we just, like, met on the road? Today is day one. Or, you mean on the road previously? Like, are we all, like, friends, or do we just happen to be in the same direction at the same time? Probably the latter. Okay. Oh, in the infirmary, was that in the same region as the guards' quarter? Like, is that the same thing? Church. Sorry? At the church. Church. I think we have that marked out now, don't we? Church Church is marked. I wasn't sure where the there guards thing was. Is that the jail? Uh, yeah, we'll go to jail. Well, it's stopping at the church is on the way to the, the guards' barracks and jail. Might as well get her healed up, get our reward, uh, and head down to the badger. Healed? No, you guys have to take her to the church. Oh, okay, yeah. Head tension. Come on now. Well, you said all of our boo boos are no longer boo boos. Once you get to the church. What the fuck? Is this supposed to be our path? Because you done goofed, man. We're like walking over plateaus and shit. What the hell is that? Well, it's abstract. not my fault here, you foolish mortals can't fly. There's the crow flies. <laughs> um, anyway. Wonders how you get anywhere. It's true. Um, well, I have these lovely things called feet. They, they do the job quite well. Aye, indeed. Speaking of, let's start using them. So you guys get to the church, you get healed up. Because he gets healed up all the while, she's assuring everyone she's fine. And then he gets over to the jail and turn in their stuff. They accept the things that have the Mesa and Sun burst insignia of Arwell's dead. However, they inform you that the ones with the badger, um, the symbol of, you know, the Arwells, um, 
are not theirs to reclaim and that you'll probably want to speak to one of Arwell's friends named Taryn Shaw. And then... Yeah. They offer you back, um, as a reward, half the value of the gear that had the Arwell Stead insignia on it. Do you guys need that list again to be reminded which ones are which? Uh, I mean, I yes. have a loot sheet where I have things I thought we were returning, but if that's not accurate, then I don't know which one's which. All right, so what they're willing to, you know, reclaim and give reward for are a chain shirt, two suits of studded leather, 15 arrows, three long swords, and a short bow. Okay. Um, yeah, the other stuff belongs to uh, Arwell, which Wait, Arwell is who you got that off of. And they just, it's not theirs. They can't reclaim it anyways. So they can't offer you a reward for it. But yeah, they do direct you to a friend of his. Um, I guess heading to the inn now? Well, we might as well go see this friend. He knows something more. Let's take care of things today while we can. Who knows what the oh, morning will bring. Um, if you're on or near that page, there was a necklace of black feathers and an obsidian arrowhead necklace. Do we have GP values for those? So there were the two bird feather tokens. Or did you guys identify those? No, no, no. I'm not talking about the magic items. There was oh. a ne necklace of black feathers. And then there was an obsidian arrowhead necklace. Uh, you're free to do some appraise checks. Let's see. Here's All looks right. at these and goes, these are shit. This looks like some dirty feathers. Probably some so, totemic nonsense. The necklace of black feathers. Oh, Monus, you figure that's gonna be worth about, hmm, give or take 15 gold. Okay. Um, the arrowhead necklace. Uh, da -da -da -dum. you pay it about 45 gold. However, it has the Arwell family crest yep. on it. That I have noted. Okay. And then you have the silver signet ring. Yep. Value on there too? Okay. Five gold. Oh, no, actually. Will no, you give me another appraise check? Not a normal signet ring, then. Not a normal signet ring. Mind you, it's a signet of Arwell, so... And you know that that is a signet ring that is worth a hefty amount. It is worth 150 gold pieces. But again, has the yeah. good old badger on it, so. That's a ring. Anyways, what's, what's your moves? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? I should go track down this Tyrion Shaw fella. Well, the knife falls. So, a, a guard, as you guys are I'm still near the jail, um, says, oh, you can't get a hold of him yet. He's uh, still out on patrol. He'll be back. He's due back. Well, actually, he's due back today, but we're expecting him back tomorrow morning. It's pretty late for him to come in now. He's probably camped out. All right, then. Can we leave a message for him, then? Are we looking for him? Not to go disappearing somewhere. Yeah, I'll 
give a nod and jerk his thumb towards this bulletin board near the front door. You can see a bunch of messages. Tony, your mom brought apple pie. We ate it. Sorry. <laughs> God damn, how are they going to do my time. boy Tony dirty like that? <laughs> For a good time. Call Jack's wife. And all the numbers are ripped off. And uh, right below that, it's scribbled, screw you guys, I quit. Basically. Just a bulletin board of bullshit, it's obviously kind of a post that the guards use mostly for their own entertainment more than actual messaging, but you know it's there. You can leave a message. So where do we expect to be tomorrow? Not just hanging around the inn, I expect. No, I have research to do, I don't know about you, Chuckleheads. Right then. Either at the end of the archive, then, eh? Inn sounds like far more entertaining than any kind of archive I've ever been to. Alright, and with that, he'll... Uh, Brunt will uh, write down a note in there. Tyr and Shaw come to Badger or Red Archive regarding found Badger symbol. Alrighty. Now what? Like curiosity, are either of you able to use a scroll of invisibility? Because I cannot. I am a straight-up fighter. Uh, do you think I went into invisibility? You have UMD? Nope. And I have a penalty to charisma. So Alright. You're selling that, selling that. Do some math. And this quarter staff with tribal fetishes, it wasn't worth anything more than an ordinary quarter staff. Correct? I don't believe so. Let me just double check, though. Valuable to someone. Not to anyone who wants to give us gold. And then we got a uh, potion of cure light wounds and some holy water. Yep. And it was, it's just a plain old quarter staff, just fancier. All right. Now we're ditching that. Did anyone want the potion? Uh, I don't plan to be in front line, so probably uh, peers. Sure, why not? Alright, and I will take the holy water for now. Oh, apparently I also have two potions already, so... Um, so as you guys are going about selling stuff and whatnot, uh, the mayor prom, prom, whatever, um, kind of gives you a wave over as he, you know, he's got a shopping bag full of, you know, fruits and veggies that he's clearly getting ready to go home with for the night. Uh, he kind of gives you a wave over and says, you know, uh, he kind of gestures to the, to the guys. He says, yeah, I'd be more interested in knowing about that relationship. Uh, I think, I think maybe he could help me uh, retrieve Griv, he's, he's kind of a local hermit, and he, he knew the Arbels pretty well. Uh, you check on him in the morning, he's pretty ornery if you go too late at night. Um, and, and, you know, also, take a meeting with, with uh, our scoutmaster, Terran. Terran Shaw. He should be returning from his scouting mission soon. He's the scoutmaster, then. Good. And with that, he kind of waves and eyes at Bagazi and then waddles off with his late night snack. Well, let's go talk to Armin. In the, in the morning. Why not right now? I literally just said. He's ornery. Yeah, that's fine. He'll be ornery in the morning. He's a hermit. <laughs> Are hermits not all ornery? Oops. Not usually. I mean, have you met yourself? You're kind of sometimes kind of joyful. Have, have you met myself? <laughs> a joyful man. Yeah, it's you. Why wouldn't he be? <clears throat> Alright, you gonna go try to meet a hermit then? 
That's fine. We can do it in the morning. Let's, uh... Uh, what time of day is it now? We're getting pretty late. It's like 8 p.m. kind of time. Sun's mostly down. A little bit of a glow on the horizon, maybe, still. Not much of one. Besides, right. we've been on the road all day. Could use a drink and some rest. Come on, Vagazi. Vagazi has no issue turning in, going to find ale. I thought she said you didn't drink. Yes, but I like to watch the people who drink. <laughs> yeah. Pierce is definitely going to be one of the people who drinks. Do they have wine? Gotta go to find out. I'll, right. settle, f I'll settle for cheap and strong. Alright. So, the Blissful Badger is the soul inn of Arvalstead. It's, uh, you know, kind of a dated building. Um, you can definitely see some dwarven influences in it. Uh, it appears to be separated into two halves. Um, one half looking more like a tavern, the other half obviously hosting a series of rooms. Oh, it uh, was like raucous, is it? What's that? How, how busy, crazy is it? Oh, it's pretty busy. There's only like two whole taverns in the entire town. So they so they both get some pretty good patronage. There seems to be... Uh, I mean, it's not like... Like, you know, Saturday night dance club packed or anything. But it's definitely quite a busy place. You kind of got to be quick to snag a table. Um... And when you come up and ask for four rooms, I say, No, I don't recognize you. I bet you I know who you are. There's already been rooms arranged for you. You've got two rooms up on the second floor. Front just looks over at the, the orc and his impromptu companions. Only two. Are there at least mm -hmm. beds in each of them? Of course there are, dear. Oh good. All right. Well, I'm sorry. Where's my Scottish accent? I can't do one. Never mind. Not even gonna. Come try. on! I've heard your Scottish accent. Let's hear it. It's just my bull. There you go. You've got a Scottish accent. Let's let's go. What are you waiting I for? I love that movie. <laughs> Anyways, my shitty Scottish accents aside. Is flawless. Come on. Now, I can type a Scottish accent after I read Scottish Twitter for 20 minutes, okay? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I did not have time to prep for this. Anyways, yes, you've got two rooms. Yes, there are two beds in each room. So who's going to share with her? Well, which one of you snores? He looks over at Vagazi first. Do you Brun snore? Brun definitely raises his hand. I don't know if I snore. If I snore, it is when I am asleep. I do not know what I do when I am asleep. He, uh, he kind of frowns, thinks on that for a second, and then looks over at the, the plant man. Do you snore? Do you breathe? Snoring. Right. I'm with the orc, then. What, you snore? Uh, no, I just don't trust that you don't snore. You're already obnoxious enough. Why wouldn't you add that to the package? Says the mammal. We're we're all we're all mammals. Speak for yourself. We, no, that's what I'm saying. We are all mammals. I don't uh, know what your problem is. Uh, look, there's some things I don't want to know about my companions. Let's just get a few drinks, get a bite to eat, get some sleep, eh? I'll agree to that. Probably got a busy day tomorrow. Alright, so they actually have some pretty decent ale, as expected for an establishment apparently run by a dwarf. 
Um, they've got some cheaper ones, and although they kind of have that light beer taste, they're still pretty alright-ish. Um, their more mid-priced beers are pretty solid. Much to the joy, I'm sure, of our resident Faye. Faye, right? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure I got that type right. Um, they do actually have a surprisingly good wine. It's made with, instead of it just being like red grapes or white grapes or anything, it's actually made from pretty much every grape from their supplying vineyard, uh, including some ice grapes. So it's kind of got a really sweet, very fruity flavor. That's acceptable. Oh, out of curiosity, is drinking something that grew on the vine like some kind of weird cannibalism for you? Is eating beef cannibalism for you? Oh. Well, no, because I'm not a cow. You, there you on go. the other hand, you're definitely a weed. I get what you're saying, though. Just because it be a plant ain't related. Good to know. He takes a heavier pull from his ale than usual. And what about you, Ghazi? What's your story? Uh, she orders herself a water. I wander. I hunt. That is my story. Eloquent in its brevity, truly, we do not deserve such a fine orc storyteller. Can we hear literally anything else now? She does not understand 90% of those words and is therefore not offended. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Sorry? So over the course of drinks and meal, um, in whispered orcish, Brunt would ask her about clan and... I have no clan, she says aggressively and slams her water down on the table. Right, right, I understand that. I'd like to know why. I ain't never met an orc who didn't have some ties to clan before. Curious. Vagazi needs no clan. Vagazi wander and hunt. Right. To what end? To wander and to hunt. Oh, you haven't really thought about this much, have you? It is what Vagazi likes to do. Alone in the woods. Alright, uh, well, probably die alone in the woods too, then. And be feasted on by animals who scavenge my flesh. Not usually something someone looks forward to, I guess. Oh, whatever you gets going you going. Are we grunting at each other nonsensically, or are we going to actually have a conversation here? Because Pierce doesn't speak uh, Orcish at all. Pierce is a dick. And yeah. In response, uh. Brunt will just reply back uh, in complete nonsensical grunts and, and weird guttural sounds that mean nothing in any language. Listen, if you're going to be insulting me straight to my face, at least do it in a language I understand. Honestly, I'm sure I have fantastic comebacks, but you're just snorting at me like a pig. Racist! Racist! <laughs> <laughs> He'll let uh, Fagazi in on the joke. See what her Fugazi response is. Fagazi will laugh heartily and slap her thigh. <laughs> She'll point directly at Piers. Continue laughing. In Orcus, you must be so embarrassed right now. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Like, what's, what's okay, that? Drax. Thanks. There, there you go. I don't remember his name. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll get Does that make me Star Lord and you Rocket Raccoon? 
figured that the plant then becomes Groot. Plant isn't really big enough to be Groot. Maybe baby Groot. Baby Groot. Oh, <laughs> teenage Groot. Dance moves. Teenage Groot. Baby Groot's like tiny. I am Groot. What race are you anyway? Are you a Leshy? Gaffling. Oh, okay. Yeah, then definitely teenage Groot. I want to make a Dark Crystal reference, but I'm going to leave that voice alone because I will torture people if I use it. That seems wise. Also, I don't know what that is, so it would fly over my head. You've Nothing never seen flies the dark over crystal. my head. I am too quick. I would catch it. My reflexes are too quick. It all that Listen, I already bastardized the entire quote. You want to correct me on that one part of it? Yes. It does occur to me that in all my games, that should be my reflex macro text. Anyways, so you guys are drinking, talking, whatnot. What else? More questions? Any? Anything in particular? Um, I'm gonna actually show Vengazi the signet ring and ask her, you know, if she's seen the symbol before, and particularly if she owns anything with the symbol on it. If I recall, uh, Begazi, as you remember when you were getting questioned last time, right. or spoken to about the other ones, um, I think it was Gallus Krevac noticed that she actually had a ring which bore the initials AA and uh, had motifs of the Arwell family crest about it. And she had explained that she had gotten it from. A human that she had freed from an orc tribe slave yard. So yes, yes, she does. Excellent. It's a ring. How long ago did she free that uh, dude? Uh, about 20 years ago. How old Soon. does she look? I mean, assuming we know anything about orcs. I mean, very obviously, solidly into her adulthood. As I recall, they don't live that long. Well, they live well, like just orc. as long as humans. Yeah, oh, she's, she's a half, half orc, orc, not a full orc. Uh, and even still. Um, so she's she looks like what mid thirties? Probably about there. That makes sense, then. She freed him when she was about a teenager. Yeah. Um, Adulthood is 14 years for a half-work. Yeah. Same as human, basically. Uh, I lost what I was going to ask, so that's all you guys. While you're uh, busy showing Vagazi the, the ring there, uh, Bronto's going to grab uh, very roughly uh, over the closest... Uh, Serving uh, server, waiter, errand boy, whatever diminutive looking person he can intimidate. Uh, that's going to be a little nine year old boy who's clearly earning some coin by clearing tables. Oi, boy. Give me. He'll come screwing over. Bright eyed, freckles, shaggy hair, all ruffled, little pink cheeks from running around. He comes up, yes, sir! Heard anything interesting lately? Anything weird going on? Uh, so he's going to go into great detail um, about how he thinks it's really weird that girls like to play um, tag games where they tag boys by kissing them and he'll never understand it. Uh, well, right. I'm in about town, boy. Over. Here's just going to lean over and mention, listen, kid, you'll get it in about 10 years, I promise. 10 whole years to a nine-year-old boy, huh? Oh, he's nine? I thought yeah. you said he was nine. <laughs> My bad. Personal experience? Uh, he leans over and says, listen, kid, you'll get it in about six years, probably. I'm thinking more like three. Probably. Yeah. Anyway. I get, well, yeah, actually, yeah. Frontier town, probably. That's fair. I'm thinking normal boy. Heck, I know nine-year-old boys get crushes on girls already. 
I still don't understand why girls run around playing that uh, that kissy game, and I'm fucking 28. It's because it leaves men wondering forever. We start mind games early. Anyways. Um, he says, oh, well, around town, uh, I guess more orc raids than normal. But I guess even that's kind of normal for around here. There ain't particular reason for it. Well, we're awful close to the border of uh, Belkson over there. That's where all the orcs are from. No, yeah, I from know. Around here, are ya? I know that, boy. I mean, more raids than usual. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. They, they come, they raid, I hide. I tell you what. You keep your ear open for someone, for anyone saying something unusual or something that they don't usually talk about. I got a shiny silver here for you if you do. All right. Well, well do, is it you guys coming in with dead bodies? Any good gossip for you? I already know about that. Damn. But don't tell my mom I said that. I you might won't. consider telling your mom if, that you said that if you keep trying to tell me about my own exploits. That would be kind of counterproductive, well, yeah, wouldn't it? What was weird? That's about as weird as things get around here. Uh, believe me, we didn't intend to come upon that sort of nonsense and then bring it back into your town. That was a rather unfortunate accident. Would have much preferred a lazy, peaceful stroll straight into your town, utterly unmolested by devils. Right, be on your way, boy. Yes, sir. He picks up his tray and starts trying to bust tables again. He clears away one of your guys' drink mugs that you guys weren't quite done with. Oh, that was about as useful as I expected. Yes, well, let's try the bartender, shall we? Alrighty. There's a bartender there. Uh, half orc. Well, actually, looking more at them, probably more like a quarter orc. Um, what is it you're trying to inquire about? Interesting rumors that have uh, happened around here of late you know the hot gas about uh, town well I mean there's been some speculation about why you know wait never had any kids but I'm listening oh that's just it people just speculate there ain't no rhyme or reason we're married to the job I figure rest his soul in peace Maybe he wasn't the, the having kids kind of type. Preferred to play the field, or perhaps play a different field entirely. Nah, I don't think anyone around town would know anything about his private business like that. Why's that? He's a little busy. I've never seen someone who led by example so well. Always out on patrol, checking in on the troops. Fronting up the battles for, or for, against the orcs when they raid. Yeah, How anything? often was he home? Sorry. It's all good. All yours. Often enough as he needed to to do his business around here. Do the paperwork, sign the things. But as know. soon as he was done, he was gone again. Well, I guess so. It's pretty busy around here. Never enough guards with all the orc raids. Did he usually come back after a set amount of time, or did it vary? Oh, well, you know, it's... You can only plan for so much. The weather and whatnot will get out get out in anyone's way. Or orc raids, or bandits, or anything else. I generally kept to his schedule, as much can be expected from anyone. Fair enough, I can't disagree with that. Um... And, uh, what about strange sightings? Maybe otherworldly creatures that aren't regularly seen around here of the non-green and tusked variety. It's that. It's that damn Hell's Fury tribe. 
Do you know anything Dancing about them? Dancing with devils. Uh, all I know is they seem to be teamed up with them devils, like some damn chel chelaxian queens, and he spits on the ground behind his own bar. That does stand to reason, considering, you know, devils and chelax do go hand in hand quite. So are they the Barely. dominant tribe around here? Sure as hell are lately. You see what I did there? He says, chuckles at his own joke. Mm, they've been raiding like the others, or have they? Uh, been I, we haven't. We haven't seen too many others lately. I uh, think Hell's Fury has either absorbed them or destroyed them. Seems like it's just them lately. Uh, how long ago did these Hell's Fury orcs start uh, becoming a dominant force? Well, you're just going to make me go right to the beginning of this book, aren't ya? Yep. You can just give me a generic answer if it's not actually relevant to what we are looking for information on. Oh, you know, years ago. So they've been, they've been steadily ramping up their attacks for years then. This isn't particularly new. Well, every once in a while we'd have a, perhaps a more nomadic tribe come in and try to raid the place for supplies. But uh, I, think, I think maybe the Hell's Fury gets to them first. It absorbs them, I think. Numbers seem to be getting bigger anyways. That's all I got. Alright, that's all you get then. Yep. I can't think of anything else. I'm open to suggestions, but I, that's that's what I got. Do you know uh, where beyond the city that they congregate, or are they nomadic? Hard to say. I think they, uh, they're actually settled out in Beltzen. Uh, couldn't rightly say exactly where. But, uh, they got all sorts of raiding parties and scouts and whatnot. I think they keep eyes on the town. So, with your favorite leader, shoot over his head now. You ever rub anyone the wrong way? Anyone looking for his job? No, no one. He's a local hero. Can't think of anyone who'd really wish him any harm. He's, he's fair. There are some who might gripe about any disputes he might settle, but no one who'd wish him any harm. What, uh, what was the most contentious dispute that he settled? I suppose the one's about farming rights. That's about it. One person wanted their fence five feet over. But nothing particularly, um, noteworthy? Nothing that was the talk of the town for days afterwards, perhaps? Oh, no. Folk here are pretty independent. We don't cause much trouble for the others. We generally figure our own stuff out. I'll ask her what she knows about this hermit. That's a very good question. Allow me to just go find that. All right, well, I can't find it. So, the bartender doesn't seem to know much. Shrugs. Says, I is a hermit for a reason. Don't know much about him at all. All right, well, I think I'm off to bed then. 
Alrighty. So you guys have your pick of four rooms, technically, um, that are up top. There is one in the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. Oh, we get pick four rooms. rooms. No, no, no. You have your pick. You, you'll get you get two rooms, but you can pick which one of those ones you want. There's. Do any of them happen to have windows that overlook the stables or anything like that? Uh, sure. The southwest one does. As does the northwest one, but that one sports was uh, a double bed. So not two beds, but one double bed. That's probably not for the best. But, but uh... the other one, the southwest one, has two beds in it. And overlooks it. Just a force of habit, mind you. I always like to have a back way out. All right, well, you windows, wanna... right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a way out. And you and Vigazi? Which one do you want then? Uh, Piers is not particularly uh, picky. He'll take uh, whichever. Uh, preferably one with a window, but. Beyond that, he's not. They all have windows. Perfect. He doesn't care then. Alrighty, then you are going to be in the north east bed. Alright, good to know. Alright, is everyone going to bed? Alright, so you guys hunker on down, you sleep. It's wonderful. Anything in particular you guys are doing before bed? Anything else? Before we can. Propping a chair around. under the door handle I will if it opens inwards. Scan the room for spirits. There are no spirits in that room. Alrighty. Contrary to what you would expect of every other swashbuckler, I'm not going hunting for booty because Pierce is actually, honestly, obnoxious. He's terrible with people. That's true. He's into the life of piracy for the other kind of booty. All right. So, you guys managed to get a full night's sleep, mechanically speaking. Um, can I get a round of perception checks, please? That never bodes well. Is it really a minus 20 when you're sleeping? Yeah. Hell yeah. This is gonna be fun. So what's everyone making next? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh god, and it takes a full four minutes to get into my armor. You better hope that shrub prepped, uh, Saren Swift Girding. <laughs> Is that even a druid spell? Nope. Don't Probably think so. Alright. And, uh,. I guess that means that these fucking imps get a surprise round on Piers and Vigazi. So. Um. The rather unsecured windows part easily to allow in two fiendish looking creatures of tiny size. And each of them is going to take a sting at one at Vigazi, one at Piers. Horrible would it be to be coup de grace by an imp while you're sleeping? What's your uh, what's your sleeping helpless, flat-footed, nothing AC? Just curious if you roll over in bed and happen to dodge it. 
Uh. It was like flat footed. You're prone <laughs> and unconscious, yeah. so it's like one. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be at the most. Oh wait, no, one plus whatever be. armor you're actually wearing. Yeah, it, it uh, at the most it could possibly be is gonna be a nine. Okay. So. Yeah, I think your base AC turns to five when you're helpless. All right, so you're going to take four damage. Oh right, I guess. Oh, relax, I'll get you on there. Hmm? Hmm? The right page, relax. Oh, Surprise my round. I thought we yeah. were doing uh, theater of the mind. I was like, oh, cool. Wait, do I have? This is all black for you guys, right? It oh, is. Thank God. Realize I forgot to check to make sure it was on or out. And let me just get your tokens out. It's an accurate representation of the back of our eyelids. I'm most excellent and organized GM. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Did I not have a token for her? I did. Where the hell is it? There was one on the first map. There it is. There you go. There we go. So it took me a minute to remember how to shift thing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm also going to need you to make a fortitude save, please, Mr. Swashbuckler. That's how much Vagazi is taking. All right, you just barely make it. Let's see about her. Oofers, okay. Okay. Alrighty. So, you guys obviously are woken up because he wakes up. You wake up. So, I guess technically they're in your squares. If we over in the other room wake up. Um, you feel free to make another perception check. And yes, we can hit initiative. God damn it, your token control is lacking. There you go. Grazie. All right. I love how in Piers it just looks like some funky face mask, night mask, sleeping thing. It does! Yeah, actually, that's pretty dead on. It. Apparently the imp wants to be named Pierce too. Like the, uh, 
Oh, I think I might have given. Imp with your name on it. <laughs> Whatever, we're sorted. Alright. So. Um. Honest. I don't believe you hear the sounds just yet. Alright. So we're gonna be sleeping through that. Hell yeah. This guy's gonna take another go at Vagazi. Failing miserably. Piers, you're up, followed by if Piers. <laughs> uh, Piers says, Ow, son of a bitch! Wakes up very abruptly. Uh, move action grabs his sword. And then swift action uses Kip up to stand up. And then he's gonna poke. Okay. That's a lot of doing, but let's do it. Hot damn. It fucked. He does. This fucking imp just falls out of the air. Not a chance. I skewer that bitch on this rapier. Might be never to imp leak you. Imp kebab. Alrighty then. You are now wielding an imp on your rapier. Note to self. Do not wake Piers up abruptly. Yeah. <laughs> damage that high don't know uh did i get dex damage right where's the other three coming from power time thing set at a times three what the fuck is going on here 1d6 plus 1d6 plus dex plus three mod plus one temp times two plus equals 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 plus 0 times 2. 1 plus 1 plus no, 2 plus 1, not 2 plus 1 that's plus right. 1 plus 2. That's correct. Uh, I've got um, weapon specialization. No, wait. I don't have that yet, do I? No, so what the fuck is going here? The only thing I can think of is like some kind of uh, power attack or slash increase uh, or something like that. If it's precise strike, that shouldn't be multiplied in a crit. Uh... I don't even have that on yeah, here. Yeah, third level, so you should have it. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think I have that on here at all. Isn't that what the three is? No, that's Piranha Strike. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's probably like plus two Piranha, plus one enchantment, I'm guessing. Going on here. Well, Brother, assume the going five here. is the high dex, right? Yep, that's yeah. correct. Five is my dex. I don't know where the three and the one are coming from. Piranha Strike is what you just said. Yeah, my bust. Piranha Strike would be up. two. Right. That's is it an enchanted weapon? No, it's masterwork. Uh, for some reason, my buffs tab won't open up either, so I don't. Can't even fuck with it at all and figure out what the hell's going on well, in it. Regardless, even with that um even if we were to just take the 11 that you got before and then add on the, you know, the 1d6 extra rolled plus your dex again, then uh, it's still dead. So either way, you skewered it. I'm good with that. Alright. This guy's... not too happy. Vagazi does not look happy. She... grabs her short sword from its spot beside her bed. And... stabs the shit out of that... imp. No, oh, so close to a crit, Vagazi. Alrighty. 
Blunt, would you care to make a perception check? Indeed. Oh, you know what? No, uh, Vigazi also is going to yell out uh, in Orcish, BE GONE DEVILS! Whoa. So, you know, we're gonna... We're gonna lower that DC a little here. Well, the DC of, of hearing combat is like a negative five. And... Negative ten. Yeah, you probably wake up at this point. Okay. Uh, so with that, uh, move action. Stand the fuck up. And standard action to grab his faux shard. That's about all he can do. Unless uh, opening the door is just part of the move to stand up. Okay. He'll, he'll kick out the chair that he propped up against the door. Alrighty, you can do that. Oi, Harmonis! Wake up! What? What? Some rock is going on. Move it! You just see him All scrambling. Right. Scrambling in uh, his underclothes. Uh, I will stand up on the bed, five foot over, and then open the door. Alrighty. This guy. Cackles maniacally, tries to strike. Um. Wow, well, he actually hits. Yeah, yeah, that's what she gets for not sleeping in her armor. And let's do this. Aha, there we go. All right. <laughs> All right, we got to get stabbed. Pierce. My sheet is extremely fucked. So that's a fun thing. Can you just pull up your Miss Weavers and manually roll for a little bit? Sure. You're pretty low level, it's not like it's intense macro needing. I mean, this should theoretically work. Yeah, so that is correct. The damage is not, though, because it's not actually pulling my buffs for damage, it's pulling them for attack. No. Oh, right. I'm at... Hold on. Alright, I was set on talk to myself so that it would just, you know, let me test things. There we go. No, oh, that was a much worse roll. I wish I could have had the 14 instead. Alright, well, that probably won't hit. That will not hit. That Alrighty. tiny little fuck. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. Just scoot over here. Okay. Because he tries again. Alright. Second one... Two, two, two. Yep, good. Okay. Don't mind all the numbers I'm rolling. Don't mind me. No, I don't mind the numbers, I mind the results. Alright, ooh, she gets good stabbing on this guy. Alright, Brunt, you're up. Alright, uh, dashing into the hallway in his skivvies. Uh, as he's look passing, I'm assuming this is a stairwell balcony type thing, looking down? Uh, yeah, so that just looks down to the space kind of directly below, which is just more rooms and hallways down below. Yep. No one, no one running and, around? Yeah. No one panicking or anything down there? Oh, oh, you can hear some screams and panic. Alright. 
I'm on us. Mind the stairs. Shuffling of chairs. Doors being thrust open. They're inside! Run! So we'll move in here uh, behind Pierce. Uh, the simp is still around? Oh, yeah. All right, so over Pierce's shoulder, uh, he will grab his faux shard in two hands and swing overhand. Okay. Ooh, nice. You managed to take out this imp. Congratulations, <coughs> the imps are fought. Splats against the wall. What's going on? One second here. Sound like more was going on downstairs. I will fly above and peek down. Why? Yeah. Um. Oh. Vigazi. Oh, you're looking down? Yeah. Um. Uh, Alright, so. You can see. down there. I know it's up, but that's the floor below you. Yep. Hmm, more of them. Uh, these ones look distinctly different and much larger. But these ones are not flying? These ones do not fly. They are not flying like imps. They are just shambling and ugly. Feel free to make knowledge planes? I don't think you could. Next level. Call. Yeah. Won't be corrected. He seems to be shambling around, banging on stuff, knocking things off the walls like the pretty art. You can see shards of a mirror that have been dropped. Um, Vigazi looks to the others and she starts hastily um, sliding back into some leather armor. Um... And picking up her bow and arrows and whatnot. And she's like, Hell's Fury! She gestures to the dead imps. Uh, get Vigazi out! I am not Raider! Do not want blame! We should probably do something about the ones on the lower floor. Uh. Let the gods deal with them. They're here for her. Why are they here for Vagazi? That doesn't make any sense. Why else would they attack this same inn that we're staying in tonight? They're orcs. They attack what they please. Right, we're having a lovely conversation while people are being murdered terribly outside, shall we? Right. Are we still in combat initiative rounds? We will reroll when we get there. Alright, um... Feel free to pre-plan since your leafy right. guy has scouted ahead. Brunt runs oh, back uh, into his room to get, get his stuff. So is this directly above, like, there or there or...? So that's gonna be about... Yeah, it should actually be in line. So like there Give or there? Take. About here-ish, I think. Just assume for... Maybe these... Hmm. Hmm! Okay. Awkwardly placed, but you know. Uh, I'm gonna start casting a summon. Okay. It would actually be one square lower than that. Yeah, there. Right. Brent doesn't try to put his armor on, he just... 
throws his backpack over his shoulders and he's running around with his uh, dirty white, uh, like full length underwear. Like old school Darn. western style. Beautiful. Long wow. johns? Yes. Make sure you got your butt flap buttoned. Alright, the butt flap is not down. <laughs> Truly the most important thing that an adventurer has to worry about. Uh, yeah. Pierce is walking around knocking on doors to tell people within to lock their fucking doors and their windows. Okay. Speaking of, looking at the window uh, of this room overlooking the stables and whatnot, does it look like there's any other flying creatures around here? Uh, why, yes. As your eyes adjust to the darkness, you can see some flickering of lights and... Um, it seems like there's a bit of a din outside. There seems to be some larger swooping creatures that seem to be harrying the townspeople. Guards seem to be mustering, going about fighting devils in the streets. Go ahead, boys. There's fl flyers outside. Lots of them. More than you could ever imagine to take. Alone, that is. Uh, when we but are coming... with the three of us. <laughs> we'll save the entire town. Good job, guys. You did it. Um, when we came through here, was there uh, any evidence of a like a basement uh, level or anything like that for like the wine storage or? Oh yeah. You don't know where it is, but uh, I mean, it, it's a bar. There's a wine cellar somewhere. Oh, there's fires outside. Tons of them. Find a place to hold up here. Yes, yes, underground is usually best. Oh, Fagazi, what's keeping her? Fagazi, come on! Alright, so Fagazi, listen, man, it takes a minute to put on the leathers, okay? Well, I didn't put my breastplate on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hers doesn't take minutes. She just got to strap oh. it up. Well, if it's a minute, then uh, the summon should finish. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Earth Elemental. Alrighty, let's grab one of those. What size? Uh, small. Okay. That should be good then. I just have it representing your character for ease of assigning token usage. Yeah. So you can put them where you want, and I guess we should start initiative then. Should I roll separately for it, or just have it on mine? Just put it on yours. Listen up, everyone. Stick together. Don't get separated. Pierce, All I'm right. right behind you. You guys are totally getting a surprise round. Uh, we'll say it's the turn that uh, Almonas finishes summoning the elemental. And, uh, yeah. What are you going to do now that you're... Trying to summon a thing down there. Walk off down the stairs. I was gonna say you've got your surprise round, so go for it, Brunt. Yeah, where's the stairs exit? Here. Oh yeah, let me reveal that. There okay. you go. Five, ten, fifteen, oh, twenty, shit. twenty-five, thirty. Five, ten. Wow. Sorry, I've 15, been fighting 20, with my sheet. 25, 30. 
So it's a double move without his armor on. And he just stands there with his uh, faux shard uh, poised and ready. Alrighty. Pierce. Uh, scoot. I believe I'm there effectively, right? Sure. I count. There, I trust your step count. Okay. This guy's unaware of your presence. What? 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 That's no, no, no. I was already there. Like, do the stairs loop back on themselves, yeah. or are they identical? They loop back around, so there's the stairs, and then you keep coming around the stairs. Oh, well in that case, let me actually move, because that was what I was asking. Uh, is this a hard corner or a soft corner? By the dude. Right. Then, am I going to get punched if I walk around this corner directly next to the big bad guy that we can see? Probably. I mean, it's a surprise round, they don't know you're there. How much movement do you fucking have that you could get from the top of the stairs down and then all the way around to him? A uh, double move for 60 feet? I was at the bottom... Surprise round. Right. Oh, if that's... Right. Surprise round. I'd be uh, 30 feet back up still. Okay, I'm there. I'm okay. still... I'm still down here. Wow, you slow people. Hey, really. Oh, I look like a fucking monk. <laughs> I'm not about to jump down a... Let's see, that's one, two, three, four there. flights of stairs. Alright. I'm honest, this is the round that your summons finishes. Okay, so I'm gonna fly myself... ...down the, the hole and then back a bit. Uh, okay. My thing is going to five foot up... ...and punch the ever-living crap out of this thing. You went up. Very flat footed. Well, that's a natural one. That is a natural one and very unfortunate. And this guy, was this was a surprise round. He was not ready for this. So, top of the order, proper turns. Brunt, you are up. Alright, so. That is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Double moving, 5, 10, 15, 20, and again, just setting up a perimeter, so to speak. This photo chart is out, waiting for something to get in range. Are you readying a... I, I cannot ready an action, oh, oh, oh. but uh, with a reach weapon if something comes at me. Okay. Piers. I wish to walk and then poke. Away. That correct? That'll hit. That is not correct. Uh, damage is one higher. Well, all right. Is it really? Yeah. Run strike is two. It's only giving me one for some reason. You knock him out! Good job. Spongebob are rude at low levels. But from this door, burst. I mean, this is also a very differently styled encounter, thank you. Hope you guys are ready for the gauntlet. This guy comes out and he fumbles with the door a little bit. Kinda pushes his way through because it wasn't really that closed in the first place. And he's just kind of standing there. Looking dumb. Can't really do more than that because he had to open that damn door. The Gazi. Is gonna double move to. Do oh, I guess she can just finish double moving then? All right, she double moves. 
I'm honest. What is the floor made out of? Wood. Mm, that's unfortunate. All right. Uh, he will bark instructions in Terran to his minion. We'll move over and punch. Ugh. Worse and worse. And then he himself doesn't have a great shot. Well, he will go around here and let's see, this will be at a minus six. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna hit. Well, it's touch, so. You're gonna substantially hit. Does it do anything? Oh, it doesn't. Well, new information has been gained. New information has been gained. Miracle testing. Front, you are up. There is someone in your reach, I believe. There, a uh, five foot step. Gonna swing over its shoulder. Oh, that'll work. Ooh, first. No confirm, so, but it's still 17. It's down. Pretty sure lucky on those damage rolls. It's only one higher. What's that? Oh, I guess because uh, the D10 rolled terribly. Yeah. Yeah. The pretty it's variable Nine weapon. versus a pair of ones. <laughs> Rough stuff. <laughs> yep. Um... I can't see anyone to offer advice to, so he will uh, just stay where he is and bark some orders. All right. Tell me Find what to do with my life. It's a mess. You Find the cellar. Hear a whole bunch of shuffling and shouting from just beyond here. I think this one will be quick enough for you guys to get around here that we can probably stay in initiative order on this one. Unless you guys are really lingering. No. These guys look like they have loot on them. They're slowly dissolving. Gotta get that loot fast, then. <laughs> can't, can't You're let, welcome to it. Can't let those dirty badges go to waste. in rounds. Cough, cough. Okay. Moved there. Um, can I see around the corner from here? Can I? Sure. I have, okay. Oh, yep. That's a thing. What? What am I looking at here? The same things that you spot on the road. Alrighty then, I guess oh, we're... Oh, and a whole pile of patrons that I didn't want to bother finding tokens for for NPCs are filtering out through those doors. Those double doors, just up here. As they try to flee the establishment, uh, there appears to be some smoke billowing out from somewhere. In, uh, this general... Whoops, that's the wrong thing. So, so are these critters attacking the fleeing here, people? Or are they just... Letting him uh, go. They're like throwing stuff and throwing shit at them, clawing at them. Can I see more now that I'm over here? Yes. There you go. So, um, a long bar counter covered in platters of half-eaten food stands opposite two broad wooden doors that lead out of the tavern. Numerous bottles of alcohol rest on the shelves behind the bar. And da -da -da -da. the tap room is large and open, sports several tables and a large corner stage for performers to ply their trade. 
The ceiling is approximately 20 feet high, which is about where these guys are sitting and throwing silverware at the patrons who are fleeing. They sound like fun, guys. Yep. Uh, anyway, I double moved, so just hanging out with the rapier out, ready for anybody to roll up and try and punch me in the face. All I will right. try and parry whoever tries to punch. Sounds good. This guy's going to... Can he swoop at you? What's his speed? Yeah, he can definitely try to swoop at you. But the swooping commence. He's gonna come straight for you with a spear out. I wish to parry. Yeah. Go for it. I don't think it will be hard. Don't roll one. You've done it. You've parried. All right. I'm gonna repost. An immediate action, I only get to do it once. That's fine. You're going to just hit. Is that the correct damage? Uh, no, it's one higher. I don't know why it's not properly being added. Okay. And that's going to be it for him. He's not looking too happy about that. Megazi is mad that she keeps missing the action. And still stuck double moving. Almonis. Okay. Um, we will order the elemental to go block this passage. So I okay. guess it will ready an attack anything go that way and he will swoop on up and let's try throwing the holy water at that one uh, so I believe this is minus four what does, uh, what does holy water do to devils does it burn yeah I'm assuming it hits. Alright, well... Uh, I'm just going to use my other macro, because it should be... Okay. The damage will be slightly lower. Uh... You'll hit. So, that is... 2 d Two points point. of holy damage, basically. He takes it. All right, anything else? Nope. All right, this guy, he's Vigazi, and he's going to fly over the swashbuckler's head. I believe this will provoke from our Gath... Gathane? Ga Ga Gla Gath... Gath Lane. I don't have a melee weapon up. All right, going straight for Vigazi. Ooh, gonna get the gazzy. Oh wait, I lied. I have a really bad melee weapon. Do it up. <laughs> uh, cooking spoon. Non-proficient shield bash. Oh wow. That misses. <laughs> Run. All right. Let's see if I can get in range. Just barely. Uh, following up from, from behind, uh, he tries to support uh, Vigazi as best he can. Okay. Oh, that will not hit. Are these guys at 5 feet or 10 feet now? Um, They are currently square above so they're not on the ground ten, level they're one square then. up 10 feet then okay yeah oof all right pierce 
Um, okay, hold on one second. Sorry, I'm still fighting with this fucking macro. Um, did this guy provoke when he went by? Uh, no, he was up above. Oh, so he went, he like arced yeah, over? Yeah, he went yeah, up okay. and over your head. Got it. He was um, on the ceiling and then dropped down for Vigazi. Cool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and stab the guy right next to me then. Alright, that's all correct, looks like. You will hit, and you will take this one out. Excellent, and then I'm gonna scoot over to here and give Gazi some flanking. Alright. Just kidding, he's flying. Never mind, I'm useless. Vigazi pulls out her short sword and takes a swing. Vagazi misses. Poor Vagazi. She waited this entire time for that and then just. <laughs> fucked she it up. looks visibly enraged. Helmonis. <laughs> you right. and me both. Uh, he is. I'm gonna actually delay until after the thing. Alrighty. Well, he needs no prompting. He's going to go ham on Vigazi. Are you doing that to Vigazi? Indeed. Okay. Completely Oof. unnecessary, but hey. <laughs> Maybe you were the reason it rolled a one. Let's be real. When you waste resources, that's when we roll those numbers. So really, it was still you. You did this. Good job. And, uh, he's gonna kind of come step forward a little bit on top of the Gazi, I guess. Hold on, let me put her back. There you go. He's five foot fly stepping. All right, All so right. it's still at ten, so that puts it adjacent to me. All so. right, well, I would like to come oh. in now. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so I'm going to go full defense and then okay. fly around so I am above it. So anyone standing here would have flank it. I do provoke as I do this. Alrighty, it will definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, so you're at 20 feet now then, right? No, Should be 15. I'm... What's yeah, your that's... AC? Uh, with the full defense, yeah, 24. You're... Ooh, it misses horrendously. Yeah. You're right, 15, so three squares up. Gotcha. Brunt. All right. They're close. Um, too close for me. So I need to back away a little bit. Oh. And Earth Bro disappears. Oh, okay. I need to back away. Five foot step back. And I'm going to shout out to uh, Piers. So, Piers, attack from the underside. Well, thanks for that. I mean, frankly, I prefer that, but if... Whatever works for you, in can. Oh my. Wow. Brunt, your rolls. I mean... I one-shot a two at this point, so I'm, I'm pulling That's even. True. Piers, you're up. You've got some competence bonus going on. And some flanking. Feels good, man. Uh, we're gonna try and poke this man in his mouth. Okay. You go for the mouth. Get the other side instead. 
And you do some decent damage, but it is still up. Alright, uh, as usual, I'm gonna try and parry if he tries to... Okay. Vagazi is going to stab completely upwards. She's really going for those low blows. Good for her. Oh, Damn it, I was hoping for a 20. miss again, holy shit. <laughs> I was hoping for a 20. It's like that that would've been slick. She and says, I only like bow. He is no Bilbo. He's going to take advantage of having high ground and just jab right down on Vigazi. And this time, however, miss. I believe. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Wait, no, what's the high ground? It's just a plus one, plus right? Plus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's still missing. Almonis. Alright, now I have the high ground in it. So it's gonna be with a plus three total. Anakin, don't do Probably it! doesn't hit him, or damage him. Uh, this uh, and it's got a plus three on it? That's 17. Seven, 17 yeah, ultimate. I don't know if I get through any DR. Uh... Nope, you will not break its DR. Rip. You tried. How's that? Alright. Front. Alright, Brent, we'll try this again. Nothing special Mark added. Will hit. But it is still up. You got a good hit on it, though. Alright. Uh, he will repeat his advice to Piers. Then. Nice math, Piers. It's soft belly. Piers. You're a water guy. And you use a piercing weapon. And your name is Piers. Yeah, you came up with I it. Know. I don't know why you're giggling over here. Uh, so extra, extra points if your last name is Anthony. No. Uh, Piers gives uh, gives Brunt a bit of a a weary look. Says, Listen, if you're just going to sit here and tell me how to my how to do my job, this is going to get old quite quickly. But regardless, he does take his uh, record. Poking him in the gut. I would love All right, to you poke him straight in the gut, and you bring him down flat on top of Vagazi. But considering he's just right there, I don't think it does that much. No more than a child fucking falling on your head. Hey, okay. see? I told ya. Unless there's actually rules for something falling five feet on your head. Is there? No. Oh. Damn. And at this point in time, we can now say we are out of initiative. And I'm going to say take a five minute break and then we can move on to the next stage of this event. Hey, just enough time to put the garbage out. Exactly. What an exciting right. real world. Oh, you know what? Make it make it ten minutes so I actually have some time to make some tea. It's been a very chatty evening. I think I could use it for my throat. Oh, okay. What I'd love he especially did. about this is that I'm inspired. My courage is inspired by Jess to attack my enemies. Right you are now. not an ally. <laughs> <laughs> you are not an ally right now. Surprise. All right, grab it. That, that's okay. what your third round of confusion sounds yeah. about, right? Yeah, Everybody sounds... stand back. I've got this. Um, I will make another CMB check against you. Uh, going defensive, take a minus four to this. Um, so 20 matched and I just say no. does a 20 match your CMD 24 no. he's no, taking a minus 4 because he's doing it defensively oh. yeah and I'm just trying to basically if you're going to attack people Javik just like Javik is just like everybody back off I got this alright Petra I will back off 5 foot step Wraith I don't trust him not to take the opportunity attack all right, Wraith will, uh, Wraith will trust him and back off. All right, Jess. Back off, five foot. 
Alright, Does, Valinor. Does okay, no one know fucking protection from evil? <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm a bring, fighter! Bring, bring the hammer down, Valinor. Bring it down on me. Aww. You miss. I'm, I'm a sad panda. Don't worry, you'll find right, more that's... rounds of this. Yeah. You didn't tell us this clearing was an arena. Uh, same Jab deal. Uh, Alright, is, every is everyone repeating the same deal for the next five rounds? Yeah, yeah. make your attack against sure. me. Okay, make your attack. Ooh. You, uh, you only hit me because you rolled a 20. I'm fine with that. Alright. Take 37. Christ. <laughs> so let's have it. So how much damage make is another, uh, Make Javik another attack against me. No, 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 make your CMB. So how much Javik, damage has Javik taken from allies so far? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, make your attack against me. Yeah, let's see. After this Javik. round, it'll be down to three. Kill... Yeah, I just... This is how I want my character to die, by allies. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. you miss. Alright, you got two... You got three rounds left. Are you... Yeah, you've already got that in. Does a 24 do it? Alright, Belnor is grappled. 24 okay, matches. Grapp Alright, Belnor, you're grappled. You need to try to break that grapple before you can fucking Earthbreaker me again. Or liberating can, command! Or I can just... I'm not fucking liberating command in that shit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't had opportunity to use this yet, so I have to look it up one second. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, I love you, Mark. See, See is... this this is why I love the confusion spell. <laughs> I have eaten the hot pepper already. No, feed Velnor. Feed Velnor his own hot pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Just force the feed him the way. pepper. It's the only way. There's no time. Okay, what are you doing to me? <laughs> you miss. There's uh, minus five on this. Okay, you miss. Okay, and that's it. I All will right. attempt to answer uh, grapple. Actually, actually, I'm sorry, there's one more. Ten, minus ten. Oh! <laughs> Take 16 damage, Javik. Fucking hell, stop critting. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt to advance the grapple. I have a plus four because I am uh, in control of the grapple, I believe. Something like that. Yes, that's yep. correct. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm doing this defensively, and uh, I'm gonna try to pin. Plus four. No, don't don't bother defensively. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, and I guess not. Um, Twenty-one tells to, to do it. Roll to maintain. Twenty-one plus four. Roll to maintain. The grapple is broken. Why is the grapple broken? Because he has you to break maintain it. it. You were not able to maintain the grapple. That's what the first one's for. Uh, you said to progress the grapple, no? You make Both. a check, and if you succeed, you uh, you get to choose whether to progress to deal damage, etc. You only have to make one check. Okay. E it's also way. a plus five, not a plus four. Either way, you failed, because you are okay. doing defensively. Alright. Alright, so this is round nine for Velnor? Well, look, it, even if he's defensively, he, he's got plus five. Did he not put the minus four in? No. He's just been rolling uh, flat. It's just a real flat roll. Okay, make your attack against me. Stop rolling 20s. Fucking hell. You're no, you're no longer grappled. You can bring the Earthbreaker back out. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> make your this attack. Thing... Okay. You miss. Whatever Thank this God. thing is attacking me is, it's persistent. <laughs> Alright, Javik, what are you doing? Alright, you're grappled again, Velnor. Make your three attack rolls. Hold on a second, I will send uh, Javik a heal. Oh, okay. Wraith's gonna get a heal in there. <laughs> Wraith, what are they doing? It's not attacking you. Hold on, let me turn on it or so I don't have to reroll this three times. Wraith, like, let me get back here, away from Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Take 18, me. Javik. <laughs> Stop it! 
<laughs> you, I've been crit three times by allies. Stop it. <laughs> you also kill for 18, so nothing happens. Jack, that was your. <laughs> <laughs> and the confusion <laughs> fucking wears off. Finally. <laughs> I'd just like to put out on the record. Just walked away. And <laughs> that is the end. So, yes. as you finally manage to break free of all these sores, just unemotionally slashing away at your body, you make one final desperate flee before you are cut down along your back, face just landing on top the sooty and muddy dirt covering this grave. And that is where we will end tonight's session. Alright. Morgan. Yeah! My, my time is now. I can see him. Um, I'm not affected by cover. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. you learn not to say stuff like that before you roll, man. Oh my god. That was a good setup, though. I like that one. Oh. Yeah. I'm still seeing babies. <laughs> Morgan. So, targeting his square. You're gonna do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. This thing is looking really wispy and rough. Morgan, you were so close. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you gotta stop agreeing to shit like this, dude. You'll only upset yourself. <laughs> Ryder, I'm gonna have to listen to you a bitch about this all week. If you, okay, <laughs> do it anyway. Oh, the crit. <laughs> yeah, that would have confirmed too. <laughs> Mike, whose fucking side are you on? So a after probably like an hour of this, of you know, berailing the the patrons with s mostly accurate uh, tales of his most recent adventures and the massive massive battle and how he fought this this strange you know the ancient hero to a standstill and matched his skills thrust for thrust. Emphasizing thrust for thrust. <laughs> and with the sword nagging him and nagging him and nagging him. He'll he'll step away for a second, you know, making his excuses to you know head to the water closet or, or whatever the outhouse is equivalent is in this era. <laughs> and he pulls the sword out a little bit. Now, now, now you listen here. Now we we need to come to an understanding here. Now it's all fine and dandy to be heroic and do great deeds and and win the day, but a man has got to relax. And relax you can with a few beers and definitely with no googly-eyed floozies. Oh, if you have time you... for that, you have time for. Me, you could swing me around. Uh, are, are you jealous? Of uh, the very idea. I think you are. So I'm spending some attention with the pretty ladies over there instead of wielding you. I'm simply thinking about the best course of action from here, and that does not involve fooling around with women. Yeah, well... That... Aldarian tried that a few times, and I quickly taught him out of that. 
Well, if you take it from me as something of an expert, I imagine that they might enjoy my weapon a little more than yours. I mean, try as you might, we can see about that. Now, this is just the way I am, and this ain't gonna change, so you best get used to the idea. And I'm saying that poor habits do not maketh man. You and I have a much different opinion of poor habits. How long you been traveling around the realms? Time has changed, my friend. Times may have changed, but true swordsmanship has not. We ain't talking about swordsmanship here. We're talking about handling my weapon. And I'm saying you don't have to handle your weapon this way. Rigorous training, dedication, practice, that's all you need. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get with the ladies. And I'm telling you, you don't need to focus your attention there if you wish to be truly great. Think of it this way. And she'll just kind of, she'll pause for a moment. You kind of hear this like, mm, uh, think, think of it like this. If you do not lay as many women, they will be pining for you. You'll have mountains of women. Because they all want to be the one that gets to Thalen. But that's not... You gotta, Build up the tail first. Um, I can't believe it. I'm getting relationship advice from a sword. But the heart of the matter is that you shouldn't go fooling around with girls and fooling their hearts and telling them this way and that. It is a liar's path, and I will not have it. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to get used to it, because that's just how I am, and that ain't gonna change. So I'm gonna put you back in your sheath now, and we'll talk in the morning. <laughs> uh, very well. Uh... So, Thalen, when do you finally get around to it? Make me a will save. And we're back. He's lying. We're not back. We're front. All right. Sideways. So, go ahead and make me some perception checks. I don't think I've... well, I guess I rolled a 12 once, but... anyway. Alright, Almonis! Behind the bar! You notice... The nine-year-old. <laughs> no, actually. A little silver raven figurine. Well, he'll hop over, pick it up, take a look. Alrighty! If you can try to identify it, you can try to identify it. Alright. Let's see, we actually did prep that today. Caster level 2. Alright. Uh, it doesn't list a caster level, so we're just gonna go with you get it. It's a silver raven figurine of wondrous power. But that's uh, uh, quite a bit more than. Vagazi looks absolutely taken with it and asks if she can hold it. I don't know. This is a pretty powerful uh, magical uh, thing. She's just, she's dazzled by it. She's just staring at it. She's crouched down. Her nose is almost pressed against it. Her eyes glitter with wonder. And uh, also, while you're back there, 
you notice that there's a couple flasks, uh, much like one of the ones you chucked earlier. Um, holy water. By the shimmering silvery appearance of it. Uh, appears to be a dagger that looks like it might be made out of cold iron. Something I have a hunch you're familiar with. As oh yes, made. he, like, as he's looking through, ugh, kind of just cringes a bit yeah. at finding that. And a sack of itching powder. How, How many, many holy, water? holy waters? Uh, two flasks of holy water, sack of itching powder, and a cold iron dagger. Plus the silver raven figurine of wondrous uh, power that the Gazi is so while breathing we're on. Here and remembering, I'm gonna try and identify those feathers again. Okay. Let's see. So trinkets and then feathers. I guess I get the feathers. From page six. Excellent. Boy, Pierce, maybe you should ought to take that dagger. I reckon I hit hard enough to do enough damage as it is. Alright, so they are bird feather tokens. Uh, so there's two bird feather tokens and. Oh, I'm gonna roll again. Didn't realize they were different. No, 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 you don't have to roll again. They're the same. I don't know if you're identifying one, you can see that the other one is literally identical. And the other one is a whip feather token. Technically, Mark, our damage output is almost identical. Yours is, uh, requires a bit more spike to it. In but, uh, listen, I'm shanking these things real good. Uh, that said, <laughs> He will, he will, uh, kind of eye the dagger and frown and then shrug and say, well, I suppose it can't hurt to have a backup weapon. Just in case. Oops, was that one or two bird feather tokens? Uh, I that's, it. yeah, the two bird feather tokens and they're from earlier in the adventure. It's like yeah, having take... two organized players. It's fucking great. I'm taking the holy water. I'm just gonna continue to be a slacker piece of shit. It's okay, there's people here compensating for that. Okay. Sorry if you guys just heard that horrendous sound, I'm just adjusting my splint. It's all good. It's just you ripping your skin off, I understand. <laughs> Well, I had to take off my nice girl skin because I was out for family dinner earlier. Celebrating <laughs> celebrating my birthday while my grandma was in town. It's very early. It's nowhere near my birthday. You guys have 11 days to think of ways that are creative to tell me happy birthday. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. 18th. Um, yeah. Yep, on the 18th. And I'm turning 30. Yay! Old maid. I'm not I'm married, Mark. <laughs> That's Fuck literally you. what a maid means, is married. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. Yeah, it's the opposite. Yeah. Maiden... Maids are like spinsters, like old ladies who have never been married. I always thought maid was the married and maiden was the not. Maids and maidens? No, that's that's the same word. Uh, uh. Yeah. Maiden and saying, and never married. Married. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway. Wow, Mark, I thought that was the era you grew up in. I'm surprised you don't know the vernacular. Oh, oh sick burn! Yeah, it's a decade makes a difference. <clears throat> I mean, it does when you're literally old enough to date my mother and be closer to her age than mine. Oof. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, man, it was creepy when my mom dated people closer to my age than hers. You'd be an upgrade, Mark. Truly. That wouldn't be fucked up at all. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But I could call you daddy and you could buy me stuff. Oh, God, no. I think I might feel some ways about that. Yeah. I think I did not make the joke. I already held in one daddy joke earlier. Uh -huh. When my aunt said, uh, when, uh, 
Alex becomes a dad, she could call him Daddy Long Legs. And I was, I, I had to bite my tongue so hard because my 11 year old sister was there and my mom. Anyways. <laughs> You guys found some stuff. There is smoke billowing out of this door here. And uh, otherwise the place seems pretty empty. But yeah, smoke. Oh no. Is there anything uh, looking like a, a water barrel or a sand bu uh, bucket or anything like that? Uh, a Monus from his vantage point behind the bar could see that there is a large tub of water sitting behind the bar. It doesn't look particularly clean, but water's water, right? As long as it ain't no flammable alcohol. Oi, Piers, give me a hand with this. Maybe we can keep this place from burning down. Do you have a bucket? Maybe a long hose? bucket is right here. No, I mean like a bucket, but never mind. Just pick up the whole thing. Alright, we're picking up the whole thing. That's why you need two of you. Yeah, uh, Piers is not the most um, strengthy individual. I didn't dump it, but it's at a 10. Alright, Brunt, give me a strength check. You assist. Oh, bloody hell. Wow. Wow! Like, I'm honest, you want to get in on this? Uh, must I do everything? <laughs> Alright, I'm honest, you watch these guys try to pick it up, but they're trying to pick it up with their back, not their legs. And you're just like, ugh. Fucking mammals. And just man mode it. Off you go. <laughs> Like, we realize it's just, like, stuck to the floor with, like, whatever goop collects on a bar. Exactly. We loosened it for you. Mm-hmm. The door is slightly ajar. As you come around, you can see. And, uh, y'all want in? Yep. Uh, taking a bit of uh, spare cloth. Just dip it in the water, wrap it around the mouth. Nose and mouth. Try to keep low, see if we can spot where the fire is. Well, easy peasy. It's there. Okay. Um, and the proprietor of the place, the dwarf who greeted you there, appears to be trying to throw things at the fire without much avail, uh, yelling at it to stop fucking burning down her inn. Right. Like normal fire or like... Oh no, normal fire. It's just, it looks okay. like... um. It's because you know, it looks like an old metal. A big thing of grease and stuff got tipped over, which started things on fire, and now it's just catching on the wood. Hold on. Grease? Mm, important it's clarification here. Grease is fire. It a grease we, fire? Do we not want water at all? No. It certainly looks as though a big pot of oil. Okay. Let's get a big ass blanket instead. Uh, S sack gonna, of flour. Yeah, Piers is- well, actually, is there a sack of flour? Because that'll be better than these curtains. Hell yeah, this is a kitchen. Alright, nice. Piers is gonna jump over the counter here quickly and snag up a sack of flour, the biggest one he can find. Okay. And then bail in here and say, Not to worry, ma'am, we have things well in hand. Okay, and as just you come jump. up there, though, because that's too much, calm yeah. down. Oh, I'm sorry. As you no, know, stand there, see what oh. happens. Okay. I thought you just said that's too much. It is too much, but I'm going to punish you for jumping so far ahead. Let's see. That's fine. Excellent. Uh, so as you walk up on it, the fire spreads into your square. Would you like to make a reflex save? Do you hate me? Yeah. <laughs> and you could just say, no, you don't want to make a save. <laughs> All yes, right. But... <laughs> well, you dodge out of the way of it as the fire spreads to another square. We have things well, and oh god, that's hot. Would you like to jump back a square, perhaps? Yes, please. All right, go ahead. Dump some flour on it. Yep, that's the plan. And I'm assuming that that works secretly, and I just don't know about it, and the fire dies down. That's... All right. Well, the idea with the grease fires, you want to, you know, 
And she says, oh, thank you! Uh, but please, please, just... But two things just came careening in and they're just gonna... They're gonna ruin everything in the cellar. Please just go take care of it. Oh, I will do. Yes, ma'am. Do do we need um, and she a flower for down there? Or is no, it not unless flavor? you're going to put out a devil with flour, too. I might very well try. All right. Front will drag the, the water barrel in. You know, we put out the fire, but you know, thoroughly soak everything while we're here. That seems like a good idea. Oh, she thanks you profusely, and also, as you guys are walking down the stairs, she yells at you. Um, uh, if you get rid of them, you can keep the relics that I keep stashed down there They're under a loose stone, northeast corner. And yeah, let's reveal these areas. Oi, Fugazi, stay up here. Close the kitchen door. Fugazi will do as such. Throw the table in front of it or something. Barricade it. Wait, the kitchen door or the uh, front door? This right here? Outside both, or inside? Both, both. Barricade and oh, okay. block. She's gonna lock what she can and shove the table in place and then sit against the other one herself. There you go. Alright. So you guys can come down the stairs and right away you will see there are some creatures down there. Um, they seem thoroughly involved with gobbling on the meats that are there and don't appear to notice you right away giving you guys a surprise round on them so feel free to move yourselves down into the basement there ah. yep. got you fam fortunately you don't have uh, fog of warp locking on so we can still grab our souls from the abyss Go ahead and arrange yourselves really quick, staying within that first row of squares and or on the stairs. And then roll yourself some initiative and we'll hit the surprise round. Oh, Piers. Let's do this formation like. All oh. right, where do you want me? I'll set the line. You stand right in front of me. All right, that I can do. In all this clamoring around, have we had a, a minute to spare? Uh, I mean, theoretically, while well, he was looking at the stuff, and then you guys were meandering to the kitchen. Not really, though. Like, not a standstill minute. Okay. I am still without armor, then. Well, I mean, if I was identifying stuff, it would have been at least a minute. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. That's right, he was identifying stuff. Well, there was smoke coming out of the kitchen. That's my right. favorite part. I scramble in my armor, and the check is worse as a result of my hastily donned equipment. Hopefully I won't need to climb or swim anytime soon. Alright. Well, okay, uh, I can charge in the surprise round, so that's good enough. Partial charge. Yes, but it's only up to your speed, and that's fine, that's my speed. Perfect. Skewer him. Mark's on a bedtime tonight. On it. Not bad. Uh, and the usual, I'm parrying if somebody tries to hit me back. Alright. I'm on us. Uh, I guess we're just flying in. Do it up, my friend. <laughs> As Piers runs ahead, Ron is just sitting there, like, getting himself ready, getting himself prepped to set the line, and it's like, hey, wait! <laughs> line setting. 
Aggressive. He's setting the line. He's setting the line up here. Any action on Monus or just the move? It's a surprise round. I got one move. Yep. Alright. This goes surprised. Brunt! Brunt scrambles to try to get that far. Those short stubby legs and heavy armor don't work that way. No. This guy is surprised. Pierce. Uh oh yeah, I'm at the top of the order here. All right, let's stab him again. Good job. You can do it. Hey, good job. Even with the uh, DR, you managed to take that one out. Okay, we're rolling up further. No. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm not rolling up further. I will wait. I'm honest. You cry no as your friend tries to step forward. We can only assume you're setting the place on fire. Uh, no, we're doing ranged attacks. Don't want to be melee. Ah, I gotcha. Alright. Badoo! Ooh, nice. Ooh! Ooh! Dang! And then flying back. You do a decent amount of damage, perhaps not as much as you could have wished for. Or decent. But you hit and do a respectable amount, and let's see about that fort. Ooh, first. What's the DC? 15. Right and. Yeah, that's okay. gonna. He's. That fails for him. So he's staggered. That's me. Alright. This guy is staggered. Hey, you can still move if you wanted. Uh, I mean, he's by the meat. Okay. At best, he turns around and growls. He's by the meat. You are moving meat. There is still meat right there. Okay. You have okay. far less interesting meat. You are a uh, tin can of meat, in fact. He doesn't uh, even have a can opener. As he shoves past Pierce, he's like, what happened to the line? He clambers through his hastily donned armor, clanking and clattering. Just tries I was to setting the line. Slap this thing with the side of his foreshard. Hot damn. That's some solid damage. And you will take him out. Ta-da! Looking around, does it look like there's any more? Sound movements, any other critters down here? Um, nope, that looks like everything's cleared out. Alright, I'll use a spirit sense just in case there are any invisible ones. It uh, doesn't appear to be. Now, what was that about some hidden cash? Yes, it was in the. Hidden beneath loose stone in the northeastern corner. You walk by, kicking one of these things in the side of the head as he walks by. You guys can make perception checks to actually physically find it. Uh, where is that bloody thing? All right, so Brunt is wandering around, right on top of it, really. Almonis and Pierce are sitting there like, no, bro, bro, you gotta move your foot. No, 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 not that foot, the other foot. No, turn around. Brunt, turn around! <laughs> and, uh... Underneath the stone, there is a plain canvas bag that contains two water purification sponges, a Masterwork heavy crossbow with 20 bolts, a plus one buckler, a scroll of day's monster and two oils of a line weapon good how many bolts was it again 20 bolts and is there any chance that that buckler is small Shh. 
Unless Pierce wants it. Let's, uh... Let's just roll. It's small! Small number means small. Alright. Are you a small creature, then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Vitty, vitty, vitty. With his little flappy vine wings, if I recall. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just gonna do a little bit of narrative here to get us outside of the Blissful Badger for in time for next session next week. Because I know Mark's in a wee bit of a wanting to get to bed. Okay. So, oh. you guys head back up the stairs. Um, Vigazi is there, and she is holding... Uh, three potions of cure light wounds in her hands. And she says, nice dwarf, give to us. And she looks very proud. Uh, mostly, it seems, she, she seems to be cradling them like they're soft babies whose heads might break. Um, and yeah, it appears that there is nobody left. Technically, she's, uh, She's gone off to evacuate. Um, no one else seems to be in the inn. It sounds dead and quiet. However, you can still hear the clamor of things going on outside. What do? Uh, peeking through uh, a slat of the windows here past the barricade table over it. Can we see what's going on outside? Like, does it look like it's organized or does it look like it's been completely overrun? It looks like it's being raided by devils and some orcs. Oh, Fagazi. I think you, you should wipe down. Please get me out of here. To where? Where would we go? Shrug. Out there, fight devil. Prove it is not me. Oh, we should make sure that the archive hasn't been overrun. There you go. Yeah, all right. I'm down. Right. All right. Should so get you some you... kind of cloak or something, so people in town don't mistake you for a raider. The guys, he just lifts up her own hood. Gives thumbs it, up. Does it look Almost sufficient? Almost drops one of the potions. Oh yeah, it's sufficient. It's it's late, or I guess it's super fucking early in the morning. We're talking like two or three in the morning. She's already kind of dark green, wearing a okay. dark brown hood. You know. And she can see in the dark plenty fine, so we don't need oh, yeah. light sources for her. Um, but anyways, once you guys are out of the tavern, the extent of the chaos in Arwellstead becomes much clearer. Town folks run through the streets, flocks of gavs assail buildings and innocents, and les muse pour down the cobblestone avenues in a scene of almost total anarchy. As you guys exit, you are promptly hailed by Mayor Porum. Uh, he hurriedly tells you that the leader of the raid, uh, an orcish woman, was seen running down the streets towards the catacombs. Um, he huffs and puffs. He's like, town guards, too occupied, keeping order, fending off you. He huffs and puffs. The devil's outside. Uh, can you just go make sure they don't break anything in the catacombs? Those are burial chambers. They're sacred. We'll certainly do our best. Alright. Um, gestures. The Temple of Aromade. Uh, is the where you, where you get healing. I think you guys went. Yep, we know it. Thank you. Right, and then he just kind of, uh, towards... Uh, Brunt. Uh, he's just going to shove... Um, a bundle of five raining arrows at you. <laughs> of what arrows? Raining arrows. Raining arrows. Oh, yep. right. So they're the yep. ones that you can put holy water in. Yep. Do a oh, little extra damage. It is well and good, but I ain't got no bow. Vigazi holding those cure light wounds potions. No one's taken from her yet. She goes to raise her hand, but then again, almost drops the potions. 
Oh. Nagazi, enjoy his bow! I will certainly collect those from her and replace them with the arrows. Perfect. Uh, do they come with potions in them or do you have to fill them? Uh, it does not say. Oh, whatever. When we had, uh, what, considering two? their cost, I'm going to assume yes. They do have holy water loaded in them. They cost 30 gold, so. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, considering arrows are so cheap and mm -hmm. holy water is about 25, that leaves five for the arrow itself. That sounds reasonable, so let's assume they're going to preload it. Um, yeah. Uh, so basically, you guys have an adventure towards the Church of Elmide. Mostly involves dodging um, everything from roofing tiles to pitchforks that are being flung by the gavs who fly overhead. Um, a lot of it is dodging um, villagers who are frantically running away to try to find safety after their homes have been mutilated in one way or another by the devils and orcs roaming about. There are a couple places where you can see fires have cropped up, but all throughout there are teams and units of guards marching through to deal with such um, travesties. And da -da -da -da. when you do get to the um, to the temple, uh, the resident cleric who you met briefly earlier today, Ovir. Uh, is willing to heal each of you. I don't know if any of you have actually taken damage, but I guess he's says. You just got uh, stabbed in the face, I think. I would definitely like some healing things. Hey, channel that so you guys get seven whole healing. Woo! And uh, we will cut it there and move on to the second part of this adventure next week. Oh! We didn't die! You didn't yeah. die! We are the best, clearly. Truly. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, enjoy huh? your work week, Mark. Yeah, what are and, the chances? Uh, <laughs> Dan, I'll see you on Thursday. Right? Yep. Thursday, yeah. Yep. That's uh, the day of the week we play. <laughs> Alright, thank you as always yeah. for running, and, and you guys for playing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Thanks for running, love. You guys have a good one. Good night, good night. all. Those on the stream joining us, thank you, you for. Uh, oh. Alex told you, but you missed the session where AOEs would have been useful. <laughs> <laughs>